now? What is this? A hat? Alright guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Fran Bo. Uh, we just went through the forest, we killed a little beetle pig, and we created a door in a well, and we're here. So let's continue and try to find our cat. Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head, kitty! Wait just a second, this is not my kitty, what a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. Hope you're here some somewhere. I won't lay down in that thing. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. This is not a home. Are those eyes? A cover to a cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. Ooh, we got a knife. Okay. King Leo's baking soda. Flour makes me sneeze. Okay. All right, I think that's it. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. All right, let's look at this real quick. Oh, I see. You have it comfortable there, little baby. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Doubt it. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Alright, let's go up. can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Alright, I guess I can't do anything with this yet. Or, or, or. Oh, okay. Let's continue looking. Got matches. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. I won't sit down. Let's see, we got rice. Oh, pepper. Kitty likes to play with olives. Um, oh, salt. Oh, what an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. All right. Dancing Teddy. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, so it takes me to the same place. Teapot has no tea at all. Delicious and beautiful. Alright, chocolate cake, my favorite. These pictures, their faces look familiar. Do they? That was my, a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. Oh, what a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I got a vase. Cozy and warm. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. Okay, let's check with the pills. So it takes me back. Okay. Let's go to the side. Oh my goodness, the smell! Poor girl, who could have done this and why? Jants, the blueberry tree. Antonio the Great. Oh, it was the ant. It is. It could be him, only a bit younger. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. There are many books and things on the shelf. Owls and cats are a bit alike. All right. Many tiny paintings. Let's look at it through the pill's eyes. So it just takes us here. Okay. Now, does it make a difference? No. Let's go up here. 
stairs end up in a wall. Okay, so let's go this way. What about this one? Oh, we got a broom! A monster who likes goats. A drawer open. Let me see what's inside. Oh, we got candles. Okay. The drawer is empty. Sisters, they look alike. Rose, red rose in a painting. Right, what's this? It's just gonna take me back to... <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh, that's clever! I won't touch anything until I can see. Oh. Oh, hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? You should smile. A bunny doll. Are you waiting for Easter? Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. I found you. Oh my goodness, my beloved friend! Friend, is that really you? Oh dear, finally! Let me see you. It's me, come closer, please, let me see you. Oh, kitty! I missed you very much, I had dreams about you. And here you are, thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh dear, friend, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... If something happened, somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear. I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Friend, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. It's gonna be fine. We just have to get out of here. Friend, can I ask you something? Sure. <laughs> Did you feel my presence in your dreams? I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, friend? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have somebody else taking care of us. Friend, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, alright? I love you. All right, I'm gonna try. It's a dead rat. All right, let's go down here. Tweezers? Oh, okay. Smells like teenagers. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Okay. White candles everywhere. Hello, doll. Who caught you? I'll lay down to sleep tight when I get back home. Okay. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We're waiting for you. Where is your head? <laughs> waiting for me? Why? You, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Friend Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How is it that you know all this? We just know. We have to. We're part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish it was a home with mom and dad. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but mom and dad will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know who told you these things about me. Are you scared, little Fran? I'm just confused. Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. 
You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world, and yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? He's my best friend. Miss yes, please, I really wish I had him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very uh, ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. And I saw a real pinecone family. And that was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. Like, they like berries. Ah, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm here looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon. And you? You're 16, year 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home. You haven't even asked our names, that's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Stop that, please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying because if you are, you'll get in trouble? If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good, good. Now listen to us carefully. We need to... <sighs> we need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yeah, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Alright. Oh, we'll have to read that in a second. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us, you see. We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is it that you're like this now? One night, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we're not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless, and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. In the meantime, you can go and talk to your cat. But we won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we'll help him. Thank you. I'll go and talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? Oh wait, not that way. Let's go up here. Oh, Fran, did you get the key already? Not yet. No, my dear, I'm sorry. Those girls are scary. They just want to utilize me. They cut hair for me and took some blood. Oh, my dear. I think they're witches. Wicked witches, you know, like in the stories we like to read. You're absolutely right. I don't know what to do. I don't know, Fran. What did those girls tell you? They told me they weren't attached to each other before, and that they will get revenge against the one who did this to them. And they also showed me a key. I'm pretty sure it's for this cage. They had the evil inside. I mean, maybe that someone had its reasons. Uh... Do you think we can do something to change their minds? There must be something. Something they are really afraid of. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. See you soon, my dearest. You should smile and be nice. Oh, hello, little babies. It looks like it hurts. Don't cry. Oh. Alright, what's this? Summon the old, old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes alive through the hand of the one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not repeating them because you never really know what those words mean. They could literally mean anything. And then boom, you just summoned a demon into your house. And you didn't even realize that's what you were doing. Uh, let's see, what's this? Foxy, oh no! Let's see, the, the sisters. They have the same jacket that I had in the hospital. But if they are the sisters, why are they so old? Just one hat. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. Dusty mirror and some other things. Uh, it's a big umbrella. Bunch of stuff. Toys in the attics. Okay. makes me feel helpless. Let's see. Oh! It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Let's go outside. Hey, you! Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Ah, uh, look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad can't... A toad and cat magnet. They love us. But not to give us love. Just use us. Don't trust them. I won't trust them. I promise. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes. Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. What should I do? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Hmm, creative. I'll try to do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. A big, big rock. Okay. Doubters need the truth on paper. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. I guess some people believe you when it's written down. Okay, 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 okay. Combine with this. Hmm, okay. Moonlight on the water, you're so beautiful and calm. Okay. Okay. <gasps> bad piece of broom. Bad, bad. Oh man. Ma. Well, now what am I supposed to use? Fuck it. Use tweezers. Uh. Wait, 
I'll go back for a second. Oh, it's a blue flower. Combined with this. Oh. Okay. Maybe they didn't have enough paint. I guess everyone has different styles and tastes. Hmm. Uh. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Typewriter and it works. I could write something, but what? Uh, what do you mean? Like, that burned why why there is no fire I can't touch the bottle it really burns take the tweezers all right uh, examine revealing the true soul the world hides the truth from you work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act if you try to cor corrupt the as the sentence your soul will be hidden and never see never face never see the face of truth huh to destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual, hair from the person you want to bewitch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside of the black and white square. No oh god. Put a lighted black hand on every point of the pentagram, fill a cauldron with water, and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour water the person pour over the person you want to bewitch, and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. This is more magic to destroy the evil. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's that. Okay. 
Ah, there we go. Six, hair from your head. Okay, good. Awesome. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Fran, here are the materials you need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I'll need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Wait, I need to talk to you. Psst, girl, I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If you want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Okay. Cool. There's no hair needed. We know that. Look for yourself. It's written down there. It's in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I'm clever enough to find... Okay. Well, wait, wait, okay. Uh, use. But I need to look at it, sorry. Uh... Oh, and... Ew! Examine. We got everything. Draw a pentagram with ashes. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pen and fill a cauldron with water. Okay, so we need a cauldron, which I think I see one right here. Yes, okay. Combine. Oh, it's gotta be boiling, okay. That's fine, let's put it in here. All right, we got it. Oh, do we need to, oh yeah. that the potion is ready. Okay. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. Please sit down and close your eyes. say the words. A bunch of stuff I'm not going to say. Uh-huh. Stairs and up here. 
Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? I don't know. I have to look around. All right. Ah. This won't work, huh? What? What do you mean it won't fucking work? Thank you. Ah. Oh. oh god, I don't like these. Darn it. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, there's more, too. What the fuck is this? Okay, it's gotta be one of these then. But I fucked it up because now everything is. Oh, can I restart? I'm doing it the opposite way, I think. I don't know. Promise. Me, Clara, and Mia both. Yeah, okay. Promise to revenge the unfair destiny it were decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even. 
Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Ew. Pearls, I guess, from a broken necklace? I wonder what's the difference. My pills are called Duotine 2, but they got the yellow ones. Because they played a lot with it. Is there anything with this? Do we need any of this? No. Okay. Cool. Let's go up here. I think this is the key. Yay! It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out and let me hug you. good I'm free friend my good friend it's time to go home you're free my dear now it's time to go home let's yes let's go wait let's yeah okay Sir Toad, the girls are gone. This is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There is no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite moldable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. take this toad it may help I'm not a bakery bun but you are all slimy and soft like dough you're right it may work here it goes yay it worked it really did I'm so big and I feel gorgeous great let's go come mr. midnight it's your fan I only have one complaint that giant toad is staring at me he wants to help all right if he tries anything I'll scratch him that's okay but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him the water's deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise, I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. <gasps> Yay! Oh, and this book was with it, too. Leon? Oh, toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Oh, look at it. That's me when I see food. Oh, it's like Frogger. Sweet. Oh, I should have waited. No, it's okay. Nope, we fucked. No, we're okay. <laughs> I like this little clay looking type concept. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty.
Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Do I need to use this? Oh dear, a baby skeleton. Beautiful flowers. Oh. Alright. I got stuck. Sir, are you the curious insects that get stuck? They're sleepy. Maybe they are not stuck. I hope they have their hair comb. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. <sighs> Fran, wait. So, alright guys, this is going to be the end of this episode for Franbo. Um, hopefully you liked it. If you did, leave a like down below. Maybe even a comment to let me know what you think about it. And I hope to see you guys the next time that I play anything. Bye!